I'm hurting, man. I literally have to rest about every 20 steps. This is uh, fun, but not fun, if you know what I mean. Mount Fuji, Japan, the world's most climbed mountain. Over 300,000 people make this ascent every year. And some don't make it at all. Someone's getting rescued. Mount Fuji has always been on my bucket list. This year, I hit 35. So I decided to take a break from the work grind to check this off the list. That was fast. It will be physically and mentally challenging, but having my good friend Cedric by my side takes off a bit of the pressure. This guy is a private trainer and is in peak physical condition. I'm not in Cedric's shape, but I'm feeling confident that I can take on this challenge. Mount Fuji is divided into 10 stations. The first station is the base. The 10th station is the summit. Most climbers start their hike at the fifth station where buses drop them off. There are a total of four trails located on different sides of the mountain. We are at the Fuji Nomiya fifth station, which marks the beginning of the trail. From here to there, it should take about five to six hours. So they probably make it in two. I don't know if I can make it in two, but we'll see. The surprising thing about this place is when we got here, we wanted to get some food and there's a nice kitchen run by a bunch of grandmas, the sweetest grandmas. Average age is probably over 90, easily. And the food was like mom's home cooking. It was amazing. Mount Fuji is still considered an active volcano, but hasn't erupted since 1707. It's been an inspiration for generations of artists and poets, and is the subject of many Japanese folk tales. And the scenery at the beginning of the trail makes it seem as mythical as the folklore describes. All this mist and the way these rocks look on your way up kind of makes you feel like you're on another planet. Made it to the first checkpoint. Getting on stick stamps. Hikers purchase these sticks at fifth station and get them stamped at each station leading to the summit. <laughs> Every station has their own unique branding and costs 200 yen per stamp. It smells like marshmallows. <laughs> these brandings are small victories, but the thrill doesn't last long. Reality sets in as I leave each station and hit the trail again. Right there is the shitter. The wind's blowing right at us and it smells like a... Shit. Shit, yeah. They charge you 200 yen. Every single time. Every single time you gotta use and a toilet. ask you, um, sit or stand. Oh. So you're looking at 400 yen per station if you're pissing and shitting and branding every time. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. While the climb is steep, the hike is not technically difficult. However, the altitude poses as the most difficult challenge. <sighs> All right, it's been decided that I've eaten way too much ramen on this trip and am way out of shape. And the altitude's getting to me, but mostly- that's, that's what they call it. It's mostly out of shape. It's a lot of senior citizens out here and more power to them, man. A lot of respect. Yeah, average age looks like it's about maybe, what, 50? Maybe even 60? With a few kids too, so. Yeah, so. Doesn't make me feel any better about myself of how much I'm struggling, but more props to them. Many Japanese have regularly made this hike throughout their entire lives. For over a thousand years, climbing Mount Fuji was seen as an act of purification for both Shinto and Buddhist pilgrims. In 663, an anonymous monk was the first to scale to the summit. That's ninth station right there. So close. I made it to the ninth station just before dusk. I felt guilty because I was holding Cedric back, so I told him to go ahead to the next station and he didn't hold back. Pretty sure he could have done this entire hike in about two hours. As soon as I arrived, I booked my lodging for the night. 7,500 yen, or $65, covers dinner, breakfast, and a place to sleep. But what's priceless are the views of the sunset. When they say your head's above the clouds, yeah, my head is above the clouds. Look at this view. This is where I'm sleeping tonight. My head curry for dinner. It was not very good, but the bathrooms are free. That's good. Check out these uh, really tiny places they squeeze you into where you are supposed to sleep with a bunch of strangers. Um, I'm really tired. 
I'm gonna go to bed, wake up at 2 a.m. and climb to the summit. The climb is like a parade of lights, but at a snail's pace. Everyone wants to make it to the summit before sunrise, which causes a bottleneck. Slow and steady wins the race. <sighs> the climb is very quiet and peaceful, as climbers patiently walk under the stars to the tenth and final station. Here we go. Before sunrise. Just on time. And this is what we traveled this way for. Hello universe. The second the sun peeked out from the horizon, it became clear why people make this hike. No pictures or words could do justice to what my eyes were seeing. The clouds seemed as endless as the ocean. I made it to the top. Check it out. Sun's rising. It's so beautiful. It almost looks like Mars or the moon. Look, look at this red stuff here. For the few hours I spent at the summit, I forgot about how exhausted I was and was able to bask in my accomplishment. <laughs> I will gladly check this off the bucket list, but first, I gotta climb down this thing.